Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to a master playlist in Node.js. So this is the brand new playlist which I'm going to build and this playlist will be a one shop stop for learning Node.js. Okay. I already have a different playlist talking about the Node.js crash course, Node.js with SQLize, Node.js with TypeORM, Node.js with TypeScript, Node.js for Guide GraphQL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate all the videos and want to create this master playlist. So if you start watching this from the first, you will get to know the all about Node.js. Okay, we will be starting from the basic fundamentals, Node.js crash course, then Node.js advanced, intermediate level. All these things we will cover in the whole playlist. It may be having like 100 or 200 videos because I will be covering a lot of demos, a lot of API development using either Express, Nest.js. So different framework we are going to use. Okay, a little bit about me. I have like uh, eight years of experience um, and writing JavaScript since last six years. And I'm totally into JavaScript writing backend, frontend, client side, server side using different framework, React, Next, Nest.js. Okay using the latest features of React, Angular, writing the GraphQL APIs and all. And I'm publishing, uh, I'd like to teach online. That's why I publish a lot of videos online for the developers to understand these concepts for free. You don't need to buy anything from any, uh, any of these websites like Udemy and all. I will be providing the quality content to you guys, okay? Now, course overview. This is all I'm going to cover. It's not limited to five section because what I will see is whatever I'm going to put this in playlist is enough for end to end Node.js development or not. We will talk, we will initially start with Node.js core fundamentals, which will just give you little understanding or you can say basic level understanding how Node.js works, what are the Node.js modules, core modules. So some global modules, how to import the external modules, Node.js with NPM, how to write basic HTTP server, how to use Node.js as a CLI, what all different kind of application you can build in Node.js. That is a crash course. Okay. We are calling Node.js as a known IO blocking event driven. So we'll try to prove with the examples that how Node.js is known IO blocking and event driven, single threaded. Okay. Then we will talk about Node.js interfacing with other services. Those other services can be MySQL, can be a MongoDB, can be a Postgres. Because when you write full stack applications, you need to save the data. You can write a simple command line application in the Node.js, but when it comes to a microservice development, you need to use some kind of a data source, which can be in your cases a MongoDB, MySQL, Postgres, or some any other database, right? So we'll talk initially about the MongoDB with Mongoose module, which is NPM module. Then we will see how to do the queries, how to get the data, how to define the relationship references between different MongoDB collection. On the same line, we will move towards uh, RDBMS like MongoDB, sorry, Node.js with MySQL Postgres. So there is, there we will be using these modules, SQLize, TypeORM, uh, how Node.js works with these modules to interact with the MySQL. Without using even these SQLized type ORM, also you can talk to Node.js with the MySQL modules. Then we will see how MySQL will work with the TypeScript. Now everything is TypeScript. We are writing Angular in TypeScript, React in TypeScript. So we'll focus more on the TypeScript, how we can write code. And later we will also explore one framework, Nest.js, which is a which is a proper implementation of TypeScript for Node.js. Okay. Then we will talk about a lot of examples, okay, API development for blog, API development for shopping cart, API development for your simple inventory system. So we'll be using the MySQL 3 or 4 tables, we'll define the relationship one to one, one to many, many to many using these different ORMs, SQLize, type ORM, maybe because these are two more popular for the Node.js world. Then in future, we will talk about the GraphQL implementation. We know REST. We will be writing the REST APIs mostly, but later in the phase, we will talk about how to implement, how to create a GraphQL server using Node.js Express. We will be using the Apollo, Apollo vendor implementation for creating GraphQL server. And we will see how you can export schema, how you can write queries, mutations and all. 
Till now, we are just doing development. Then we will see the testing tools using Mocard, Super Test, Chai, uh, how to create a stub skeleton. All these things we will learn through the with the help of uh, these uh, assertion libraries for testing of Node.js, end-to-end testing, unit testing, functional testing. Okay. Then at the end, it's not like there will be five sections. There will be more sections. I don't want it to just keep it going. Okay, five section is the fifth one is the implementation with the GraphQL. Then we will talk about actual API development either with the Express or Happy JS or NestJS. My popular or favorite one is currently NestJS, which is helping developers to write API backend very easily, very quickly. So we will we will talk in depth about NestJS, how it works, how to write APIs, how to write microservices, all these things in in the context of NestJS. Express we will be covering in the section 2 and 3 we will be using Express only. Express is also powerful and most popular. Now things are going in the TypeScript direction. So we'll talk about it. So this playlist is going to be one, one stop for Node.js developer to understand everything. Okay. I will also cover if I have a time I will cover the serverless with the Node.js. Okay or publishing a modules, NPM modules with the Node.js. These are miscellaneous items which I will be covering. Building microservices with the Node.js at the end of this playlist because there is already a parallel playlist going on which is talking about different microservices pattern in Node.js, how you can write microservices, what all different ways microservices can talk to one another. Okay, so there will be a separate course which is talking about building microservices in Node.js that I will append in the last because our whole objective of the actual application which we are writing in our companies we are writing microservices which are talking to one another there will be a lot of inter independent services like Redis, MongoSQL, Mongo, RabbitMQ and all and that time we will move into the dockerization containerization of our services so there is already a playlist which is talking about how we can create a node.js containers for different different services one is a Node.js container, RabbitMQ, MySQL, Mongo, how they are talking to one another with the help of Docker Compose. So that will be section 6 or 7 because at that time, whatever we are writing, we will be using Docker and Docker Compose to create containers. So that is the extended version of it. Okay. So this playlist, I want to be covering everything which will take like I already have built something. So I will append those videos here, but this playlist will cover most of the things which you are learning from here and there like GraphQL you are learning from somewhere type RM from somewhere SQL is from somewhere Node.js with Mongo is from somewhere NestJS from somewhere this playlist is a one stop for learning everything okay so let's get started guys thanks for watching and you can subscribe if you like my videos